well in this uh, video we are going to calculate the first four mean moments and then we will extract arithmetic mean variance skewness and kurtosis from the first four mean moments so this is the ungrouped data this time we are doing exercise for ungrouped data this is ungrouped data which shows the number of hours which 12 students this is the number this is the 12 students data this data is collected from 12 students uh, and this is the number of hours that the students uh, allocated to social media out of 24 hours. So the first student is uh, allocating 3 hours to social media, the second one is 4 and so on. Okay. So this is, this is, this is the, this is the data. Okay. So first of all, we need to calculate. This is, uh, we have already discussed these things. Uh, the first mean moment, the second mean moment, the third mean moment, and the fourth mean moment in the previous lectures, uh, and, and this, this, this is the respective formulas, and this is the formula for skewness, and this is the formula for kurtosis. All right. So first of all, we need to calculate arithmetic mean for the mean moment. So we need to uh, sum all these values. If we want to sum all these values, the sum of all these values this is equal to is equal to 47 and if you want to calculate the arithmetic mean the number of students is 12 and arithmetic mean will be equal to total hours divided by the number of students so you get this is equal to 3.91 so this is equal to 3.91 this is the this is the average number of hours that the students allocate to social media out of 24 hours before further discussion you guys are requested to like this video subscribe to show academy and press the bell icon to get regular updates of this channel so in the first column we need x minus x bar which is titled in this case as x minus mean so x minus mean is equal to equal to first value of x minus mean mean is equal to this value don't forget to press a 4 from your keyboard because if you don't press a 4 it will not be locked in each and every upcoming cells will be subtracted so to make it constant so you need to press a 4 from your keyboard press it press enter and select the area and press enter and this is x minus x bar from the property of the arithmetic mean at sum should be equal to 0 and you know this is this is already this is x minus x bar is always equal to 0 then you need to calculate x minus mean square which is equal to this value to the power per power we press shift and 6 and press 2 to take its power to enter it and again now you can drag it is x minus x bar square in the same way you can calculate x minus x bar cube which is equal to x minus bar power, power shift and 6 is 3 for cube enter again you can drag it to calculate x minus x bar cube and similarly x minus x bar to the power 4 equal to this x minus mean shift 6 and press 4 to take its power 4 enter it and you can drag it and you will get x minus 4 to the power 4 if you drag this sum to the right hand side you will add up all the four columns so the sum of all these four columns is given by this value all right so this is summation x minus x bar x minus x bar square x minus x bar cube and x minus x bar to the power 4 now you can quite easily put the values in these formulas and you can quite easily calculate the first four mean moments directly equal to x minus mean is equal to zero it should be divided by the number of students by n this is equal to zero so the first mean moment is always equal to zero whether you are calculating it directly or indirectly equal to x minus x bar square is equal to this value it should be divided by the number of students again so this is equal to the second mean moment and this is also equal to the variance of the data as well so this is also equal to the variance now you need to calculate uh, m3 which is equal to summation x minus x bar cube divided by the number of students which is equal to 12 and this is equal to 3.62 clearly this is positive it means that there is 3.68 hours 
positive skewness in your data. That means that your data has a long tail to the right hand side. And for kurtosis you need M4 which is equal to you need equal to and summation x minus x bar to the power 4 should be divided by the number of students n and this is the first for me moments all right so this is this is this is the you know, arithmetic mean this is your variance this is the absolute skewness now if you need the relative skewness that is in percentage form you need to calculate b1 which is equal to which is equal to m3 square to be divided by m2 cube and clearly this is equal to 40.46 in other words this is equal to 46.6 percent skewness in your your data and this skin is positive because the sign up in 3 is positive if it was 0 this, this uh, the distribution would have been symmetrical if it would have negative the distribution would have been negatively skewed but this is positive so we can interpret it as the distribution is positively skewed and we can say that the right hand tail of the distribution is longer all right now you need uh, you need a b2 for kurtosis which is equal to m4 the value of m4 is equal to this value it should be divided by m2 square m2 is equal to this value and if we square it this is equal to this value is greater than 3 so the distribution is leptocortic because the rule of thumb is if it is equal to 3 the distribution will be mesocortic if it is greater than 3 the distribution will be leptocortic if it is less than 3 the distribution will be it will be uh, petit cortex so our answer is greater than 3 so the distribution is leptocortic so this is how to uh, calculate the first four moments given is kurtosis mean variance for ungrouped data using microsoft excel thank you thanks for watching